All right, we need to stick slot A into slot B. Tram systems repaired and ready. I can call a tram for Hammond and Daniels from Tram Control. Let's do it. Maintenance complete. Calling tram. It's clear. Oh, we're just hiding around the corner there, clearly. We're at the flight deck. We are here, roughly. We're on board. Something hit the roof, but it seems operational. Quarantine lockdown's lifted, so you can get to the hangar. Wasn't the looking. Still down, though, so be ready for anything. What's the plan? You and Johnson fix up the Kelly. We report to the bridge. Standard emergency protocol. Protocol. Hammond, people are dying here. And I'm not losing anyone else. We stick to procedure. We'll get through this. We'll see. There's her first sign of hostility, I think. But even then, it's a lot more subtle than the original game. Hammond wants me and Johnston to fix the Kellyan. Yeah, right. We heard that everything was fucked. Singularity core was fucked, port booster's gone. Johnston has a broken ankle. What does he really expect us to do? While he and Daniels report to the bridge, hopefully I can get the Killian spaceworthy and get us out of here. It's not going to end well. Uh, actually, I'd like to quickly recharge my stasis. Hopefully, I'm not going to get attacked here. Yeah, let's grab that because I genuinely don't recall what is ahead. Turn. You're right there, buddy. You okay? The true horror starts here. Okay, right should be a dead end. Someone's switched the lights off in here. Well, so I'm not liking the amount of noise I'm hearing coming from upstairs. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Ooh, we just ran past this room earlier. Flight deck supply. No EVA support, no EVA gear. We do have a giant honking vent in the middle though, which is scaring me.
So I think there's anything else in here. No? Dude. Oh! Nasty. And that's something that I don't think is actually possible in the original game for necromorphs to get caught in doors like that. Yeah, I heard you there. Oh, can the music just calm down a little bit, please? Security and transits. You did this, Isaac. You played with the console and then all hell broke loose. thousand people and no survivors. Lovely. Alright, just gonna make a save before we go out and try to repair the Kelgan. It's not going to end well. Please collect all belongings. I've got my plasma cutter. That's really all I need, I think. Thank you for visiting. Awesome, we're getting off this thing. We don't need to come back. Johnston, how are you doing? She looks okay, actually. Removing your helmet seems very unsafe, Isaac. Uh, what's our next objective? Nothing. Yeah, I'm just checking out the rest of the ship before it's, um... Before, spoiler alert, something bad happens. It's run diagnostics on the Kellyan. Shit's fucked. Johnston's okay, but she needs help with the Kellyan. I should run a diagnostic to see what kind of damage we're dealing with. Sure, let's uh, do that. Nothing will possibly go wrong here. That's how this thing blows. Whoa! Didn't you see the death scream, Isaac? She was dead before that. Oh shit. These guys. Oh, 
Those boys are chonky. And we've got another one now. Not me. Command computer. It's a brick. All the primary systems are locked down with the captain's codes. So we find Captain Matthias. Track his rig. Okay. Okay, here. Captain Benjamin Matthias. Location medical. Status deceased? Even the captain? God. Isaac, you're closer to medical. You can double back and cut through maintenance. Find the captain's body and get his rig. With his codes, we... What was that? Chen? Shit. Chen followed them on the tram? Holy shit, that's different. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I do like the way that we actually saw the Necromorphs attacking the Singularity Core there, because honestly, it was a kind of cool sequence, but it didn't make any sense in the original game that you boarded the Killian, you loaded the diagnostic report, and then the whole thing just fucking blew up. That made no sense. What we just saw there makes a lot more sense as to why the Killian blew up. Uh, how am I looking? 73 shots, two med packs, one stasis. Yeah, we're not getting off here, it's just down to us three now. Heading to medical. Chen presumably got on top of the tram and followed them. God damn. Yeah, this door's open now. Reminder, please collect all belongings. Once again, I have my plasma cutter. That's all I need. Bathroom. Thank you for washing your hands. Does it count if I'm washing my hands in blood? Assurance, don't go it alone. What are they? Especially something something for the hard laborer available in something tablets. Ah, oh, okay, it's like a energy drink or something. Fuck this ship. It's a shitty capitalist organization. Surprisingly relevant. They are watching. That's all that's in here, just a bunch of credits. Car can cook. How does that mean? To flight deck tram station. Oh, what's that camera angle for? The camera angle just completely changed there. The store. scrolling by very fast. Two medical. 
Oh, we're going straight through there. We're not catching a tram. Interesting. Man, that's a lot of dead bodies. There's always Peng. Yeah, I passed by that earlier and I didn't say anything. Are you proud of me? The store is a one-stop shop to purchase, sell, and store items for later use. Items can be purchased with credits. Bring schematics to the store to gain access to new items. From the inventory, sell currently held items or place them in storage. When the inventory is full, place items in storage to retrieve or sell later. The storage system can be accessed via any store. It's basically a Resident Evil item box. Uh, what have we got? How much money do I have? 10,700. I can just afford the suit. Dang, a power node is the same cost as a suit. Yeah, what I normally do with the original game is I skip the suit level 2 and I go straight to 3. However, we're playing this blind. I don't know what I'm in for. We have to do it. Very similar animation. Do we get a free heal out of that? Alright, storage. Oh wow, you're telling me we can... We can re-equip the old rig. It doesn't say anything about uh, storage capacity or whatever. Alright. At the risk of wasting everyone's time, I'm going to try equipping it. Do we lose the additional upgrades that we got? Is that what we had before? Oh, I'm going to have to look at this in my spare time, I reckon. No, this is um this is the original suit from the original game, isn't it? So I've still got the upgrades. It's just that I look completely different now. Complete with the um, lack of anti-aliasing on some of those light things on the visor. Dang. Alright, can I drop this stasis pack please and maybe a medkit? Well, I can sell that, can't I? A rare electrical component. Sell at the store for credits. Can do. Have a productive day. I mean, that's one way of describing it, I suppose. Ah, uh, yep, that's where we were earlier. So in the original, we caught a tram to go to medical. But medical is nearby, apparently. Suit level 2 upgrade graph extended. Yeah, look at that. These weren't here before. Stasis energy. More HP. Oh, God. Alright, first question. Did we get the HP? Did we get a free HP upgrade here? We did not. We did not get a free heal. So let me put a point into HP and confirm that that still works. So we get a heal. 
We do. Based on that, I assume that the reload trick also works. And by reload, I mean capacity. Um, I'm scared. This is new. Just making sure you're dead, buddy. Quarantined cargo storage. Needs bridge authorization. Captain Matthias. That noise. Medical cargo depot. We're on the medical deck. Intensive care, yep. I remember that chapter name. And we're actually a bit further into the chapter than I thought at this point because I don't recall that thing being there on the original. And the Kinesis module is right there, that's not where we find it in the original. I need to retrieve the captain's rig from the morgue. Nicole worked there on the medical deck. If there's any sign of her, it'll be here. There's no survivors, Isaac. Hello. Kinesis. Use Kinesis to move objects. Uh, it is the heal button, so we can use this to grab and move items. I want to grab this first, though. So I need all the ammunition I can get my hands on. There's got to be more to that. It turns out there totally is. So behind here we have... Nothing. I can move this back over to the left. Worth it. 2,000 credits. Absolutely worth it. I want to say that's French, but I'm not certain. Medical tram station. There we go. You right there, ma'am? That is a thousand yard stare if there ever was one. Yeah, the game's had a couple of patches since launch, but it still seems a little bit glitchy based on what I'm seeing. We have the dude course in the door and she just repositioned herself. What is wrong with your chest? Holy shit. Alright, let me just take your pulse rifle there. A new weapon has been added to the inventory. To use it, add it to the weapon wheel. I normally don't rock the pulse rifle, but I'm thinking I'll try it out again this time because it's a remake. Maybe they've changed it. 
Military grade assault rifle with a high rate of fire. Hold that and then hold that. Primary fire. We can also use a proximity mine which costs half of the clip. That is expensive. Oops. Yep, we just saw. Place a charge that explodes when enemies approach it. Yeah, this is definitely the speedrunner's weapon of choice from what I've heard, but it's for me, not for me. Use the dashboards to unlock tram stations and re-enable something throughout the Ishimura. Oh! Are we open world now? Like, I assume I can just uh, hop into this thing and take the tram back to where I just was. Holy shit, okay. Interesting. Altman is with you. Free yourself. Why am I here? You were chosen. I told you. We're actually open world now. That's very interesting. Ooh. Let's not stare at that too long. That's going to give us epilepsy. Security station. That's where I just was. Uh, where am I going? No, that's not where I just was. Uh, I came from there. Sorry. I saw these things here and got very excited. Um, anything here? To use a ship-wide emergency, no officer available due to ship-wide emergency. Whatever. Redundancy. Isaac, have you heard from Daniels? We were attacked. She ran the other way. No, nothing. Medical's a slaughterhouse. They barricaded access to the morgue. The morgue? Yeah. But the barricade was put together in a hurry. A hydrazine tank might blow it open. Just need a detonator, like maybe a shock pad. Nicole could be through there if... Isaac. The one who attacked us. I swear to God it was Chen. But... I saw him die. If they barricaded the morgue, maybe it was to keep something in. What's going on with your shoulder there, Zack? Uh, retrieve the captain's rig. We can't do that yet. And the description is a little bit different there. He mentioned a hydrazine tank. The shock pad is the same, but the hydrazine tank, I think, is new. Can't reach the morgue until I find a way through the barricade. The crew barricaded the access to the morgue. Once I put together an explosive, I can blow that barricade and get into the emergency wing. I need something explosive to blow open the barricade. There should be hydrazine tank refill tanks in zero-g therapy. A small explosive charge will get me through the barricade, but I need a detonator. A shock pad will do the trick. There should be one in bioprosthetics. We have run out of body bags. Not good. Not good at all. We need security clearance to open some lockers. Alright. Zero G is in this direction. I think that's where we start. Imaging Diagnostics Lab. 
If you have been referred to the lab, please have your referral form and CEC authorization ready, then proceed to the lab office. Thanks, lab staff. That's a face you can trust. I'm sure we're going to cut her apart in just a moment. Uh... I've got vague memories of that, but I don't remember it playing out like that. Uh, sir, I'm sorry to do this, but I need to stop you from coming back. I trust you'll understand. That door is still locked. I'm hearing creepy whispering. I don't like it at all. Imaging diagnostics. High radiation. We'll be fine. Oh, so I've suddenly remembered that I need to be carrying a power node on me at all times. Because this door used to be a power node door. You had to use a power node to get in here. But it looks like it might be connected to a circuit breaker now. Patient reception overload. Number of patients waiting for emergency care, 136. The nearest doctor for an appointment will be released for 7 hours 39 minutes. Cumulative waiting time for an appointment, 265 hours. Occupancy of branches for the near future, 100%. You would think at some point they would just shut the monitor off. Counseling services. Come on, game. Yes, we're dealing with trauma. Have you recently been diagnosed with a serious illness? Come on, game. Come on. There's a great remake, and then there's taking the piss, and right now this game's taking the piss. Uh, this is gonna go left. Right, we need that. Right, I don't think we're going to be immediately told to do this, but basically we have to grab that and plug it in there. Ah, uh, doors or elevator? Doors, please. Can't get through there. Not sure why that door is open. What about the door over here? Yes. Consultation room. Another locked cabinet, level two. God damn it. I'm going to have to start making some notes, clearly. Audio log. Thank God I don't need to read this. Translated. You think this 
parasite can be found in Mr. Harris's psyche. I'm positive. And with Captain Matthias barring any visits to HS7, this fellow may be our best chance. Harris is Dr. Brennan's patient. And your methods... Look, Mercer, things are complicated enough already. I can't sign off on this. You do what's best, of course, but... How long can we afford to wait? No clue who Harris was or what his role is, but it sounds like he was down on the colony and he's up here. They've diagnosed him with something. Maybe they're experimenting on him. Who knows? Don't know yet. Yeah, I'm going to have to make some notes about where to find these cabinets because I'm pretty sure they are not going to be marked on the map. Yeah, there's no indication, if I can figure out, figures out that there's a locked cabinet in this room. Diagnostic technician, something, something to 4.30, office hours are 9.30 to 4.30. Good hours if you can get them. Oh, look at all these lock cabinets. Whoa. Uh, not terrible, but just lining up the shots is a bit tricky. Uh, you distracted me, sir. Also, I don't want you coming back. All I can say is I hope we find level 2 very soon. And then I can go back for level 1. Uh, a bench. I won't use that just yet. There's no points. I've only got one power node. I want to hang on to one power node at all times. Just in case the doors still exist. Whoa. Infidels. Did that thing just close or was that a glitch? Yeah, I think that thing just closed. Just look. No, there's some lights. There's a light source being thrown that's um, scaring the crap out of me. Alright, stasis recharge is there so we can spam it a bit. Right, we need to move that thing over to the right to create a path. That's pretty much in accordance with the first game. Oh, hey. Six plasma shots versus 25 pulse rounds. I think in any universe, I would take the plasma rounds. Alright, we need this thing. Imaging diagnostics or zero-g. Zero-g is to the right, so let's go in here. Observation room. No food or unauthorized recordings. Are you watching this? You can't watch this. Turn the video off right now. Man, I don't remember this room at all. Text log. Oh no. Yep, 
You better not come in here. More crates that we can't open. You better not come in here while I'm trying to read this thing out. Medical log. Dr. B. Warwick, Chief Psych Officer. Sensory deprivation treatments. The diagnoses are stacking up as fast as I can file them. Sleep paralysis, hallucinations, nightmares, paranoia. I'm getting patients from all over the ship. No underlying cause is showing up in environmental analysis, foodstuffs, or radiation levels. I admit, I'm at a loss. Mercer says he and Kine are working on a hypothesis, so in the meantime, I'm treating the symptoms. I'm seeing some improvement with sensory deprivation treatments in our zero-G therapy pods, but the sheer number of patients we're managing bothers me. Those systems are old, and they need an overhaul. With so many pods active, I worry what might happen if there's a serious power surge down here. But nothing else seems to help. I suppose the odds are low, though. I'd rather take a small, calculated risk than have dozens of miners and engineers impaired around heavy machinery. I don't really quite understand that last sentence, though. Alright, stasis is good. More about this mysterious ping. Cryogenics labs. Yeah, I think we're coming back there much later. Alright, I need to make a save because if I remember correctly. Things are about to get a bit hairy. Dr. B. Warwick, CPO, something something overtime, please contact via rig link due to overtime something. Again, uh, that's a little bit too real in today's environment. So many ping advertisements, holy shit. There we go. In a vacuum, the rig will display the time remaining. Thank you, game. God, this looks incredible. Holy fuck. I mean, yeah, there's still a lot of aliasing there, probably because I'm playing in performance mode, but Jesus Christ, this... This is insane. The lighting is insane. Where did that object go? Yeah, I need to explore this area a bit more carefully, but I don't have time right now. Uh, pressurize me, please. From the way Isaac is walking, I think we're still in zero G. Just let me make sure I didn't miss anything here, because I think I'm going to be sprinting through here later on. Spoiler alert. Yeah, nah, I think we're good. Please check all thrusters and safety something. Safety equipment. No, just please check it. Use boots and suit thrusters to navigate in zero gravity. So this apparently has had a rework. Holy shit, it's so dark in here. L1 and R1 is take off and land. The suit allows additional navigation options in zero G. Look, move. We have boost, reset orientation with fire, and reorient. Oh god.
I don't know if this is similar to what they did in Dead Space 2 or that other game. But it is definitely not how one handled it. The way one handled it is you attached yourself, you had to jump to a surface. So if I was here, I could maybe jump to there. I would propel myself there and then I'd be able to walk on that surface. A lot of people found that very awkward, but I personally didn't have a problem with it. Personally, what I need to do right now, though, is loot this place. Nothing in there, no. Okay, so if I hold down R2, it looks like regardless of which way Isaac's orientation is, he'll put his he'll put himself back at a um, I'll call it like a correct plane. Like I'm holding it right now, and he's oriented himself so that he's basically got his feet on that floor there, which is where we came in. That's actually very very good because if I get lost somewhere, I can hold that down, and that gives me half a fighting chance of determining where I came from, at least. Alright, I don't see any other crates in here, so how about we just land here? Opposite from where we entered. And I can use that to land. Yeah, that's... that's reasonable. I don't think that's a bad solution at all. No flammable materials. Exiting zero gravity. We say that as we're freaking carrying a plasma cutter in here. Okay, fine. Hydrazine canister, we got it. Still holding this position. What's happening there? Did you find Nicole? No sign of her yet. But I found some hydrazine that should work on the barricade. I just need to find a shock pad. Okay, work fast, Isaac. Have you seen the speed at which I read things? Okay, nothing new there. Entering zero gravity. Of course. I do want to kill this guy just in case he drops credits or something useful, but... He's probably going to drop something and then I'm not going to be able to find it. Oh, hey. Wasted three shots and took a hit in the process. I'm not saying I've made some terrible life decisions, but that may have just been one of them. Dang, okay. Whoa. Uh, fuck, okay, that's new. We've got to go up. First you want me to navigate zero G, which is hard enough. But I think you now want me to fight in Zero G. There's going to be something up here or not. O2 tank. Nice.
That freaked me out. Replenish oxygen at O2 stations or by using oxygen tanks in the inventory. I shouldn't be saying that because I'm consuming oxygen to speak. Uh, going this way. Okay, that's a full recharge. Damn, you can spam it. Pipelines to cool and something. Can't read that? No time. This is not... I don't believe this is where we came in. Patient room. Whoop. Eustasis still get hit. Patient locker room. Yeah, I don't recall that. Alright, I um, actually have no idea where I am. This looks new. Oh, God. What could possibly go wrong here? Trapped him in the escape pod. Exiting zero gravity. Where the actual hell are we? Schematics. Pulse rounds. Nice. Bring schematics to the store. That just means we can waste money on pulse rounds if we want to. And guess what? We don't. Will this work? Immediate answer seems to be no. Yeah, the pulse rifle really is not all that. Keep at it just to waste some of the ammunition, but damn. Alright, I need to heal. I don't have a choice. Let's use... Let's use two smalls. There's a key item. Hydrazine fuel used in suit thrusters. Yeah, I thought we might be able to set this on fire. And now that I'm directly underneath it, I'm not going to test it. I did study chemistry. I know what happens if you um, expose hydrogen to a flame. Uh, we can unlock that. See the security station. That's where we started. Ah. I know where we are now. So that way is going to take us back to the room with a whole bunch of locked um, things that we can't open. And this is going to take us back to our barricade. Schematic submitted. Item now available for purchase. Not a fucking chance. No, I can't sell the pulse rifle. 
Uh, I can sell these though. Thank you for shopping with us. Thank you for shopping with us. Nothing about having a productive day. Maybe they know. Uh, I've got enough to purchase another power node, but I'll hold off for now. Alright. Let's go over to wherever it was and grab that shock pad. <laughs> 